Previously, I got to learn firsthand the process of making mezcal in Oaxaca. But perhaps the most popular variety of mezcal, especially outside Mexico, is tequila. While each year Mexico produces over 6 million liters of mezcal, over 260 million liters of tequila is produced. The production of tequila is very similar to mezcal, but with a few very distinct differences. Most mezcal production is centered around the state of Oaxaca, while tequila is produced in the state of Jalisco, home to its birth city, Tequila, the source of its name. To make my own tequila, I visited Tequila Herradura and joined them in the agave fields to learn firsthand. Now we're in the city of Tequila. I'm here with Angel, with Herradura, who's going to show me how to make tequila. So what's so special about blue agave and tequila? Well, in Mexico, there are about 136 different types of agave. Only five states in the country are allowed to produce tequila. For us, it takes us at least seven years to obtain the mature agave. So how many fields like this do you have then to keep production going year-round? Well, per year we plant two millions of sprouts. Oh, wow. And to plant those two millions, we need about 600 hectares. Total, Casa Radura has at least 14 million plants. For today, total Himalores are about, in this field, 17. They're going to harvest uh, 60 tons. So each wow. humidor is going to make around 100, 120 plants on less than six hours. And uh, it's about three, three and a half tons per humidor. We use agave from the highlands of Jalisco. We use agave from Nayarit and Guanajuato. And of course, from this uh, area that is known as the lowlands. What's the name for the people who are harvesting them? Jimador. Jimador? The harvester is okay. El Jimador. Okay, uh, so that's all they do year round is harvest? They learn generation by generation. Maybe yeah. the father of this guy was a himador and his grandfather was a himador and generation by generation that's how they learn how to. So are, are doing this job by hand for more than 150 years. Oh. You, you will see how they are cutting the leaves, you will try and yeah. that's how you are going to respect tequila. <laughs> so one of them is going to show me how to do it then? Sure, let's go. <laughs> this guy, his name is Santos, he's a uh, what time is he mando? 22 years doing yeah. this uh, job. Uh -huh. But in your case, uh, always we made the low cut. In Spanish, we call him abaja. Why? Because all the leaves contain some kind of waxes. So, details mature agave, mm -hmm. low cut, and at the end, always they split the agave. Here in the field, yeah. you will see in the party over there in the hacienda, yeah. the, the agave is always important to cut. This is a small part in the top of the heart yeah. that is called cogollo. If we don't cut this small part that is called cogollo, yeah. from here we want to obtain use of sugar, only waxes. And during cooking uh, step, it's going to change uh, uh, the flavor in tequila. In the next agave, you, you will try how to harvest. And believe me, it's a very hard and yeah. dangerous job. What's the name of the tool? Koa. Koa? C-O-A. Koa. Okay. It's your turn. Are you right hand or left hand? Right handed. Okay. Yeah, like that. And the other, in the other side? Yeah, like that. Be careful. What? You did.
Next up, I'll head to the distillery to learn how these agave plants are turned into liquor. 